Why, with all that's going on at the court and in the world right now, would you choose this moment as your first visit to this great state? And I guess the honest answer is, I felt in my spirit that I had to come. In Birmingham, Alabama today, Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson stood in the pulpit of the 16th Street Baptist Church. The justice was there to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the day the Ku Klux Klan bombed the building and killed four young black girls who were getting ready for church in the ladies' restroom. In her remarks today, Justice Jackson honored those four children and she spoke in personal terms about her own background and the reaction to her appointment to the highest court in the land. All of the attention to my race and my gender and the historical nature of my appointment has caused me to develop an intense yearning to better understand why. Why has it taken 232 years and 115 prior appointments for a black woman to serve on the Supreme Court? But when a Supreme Court justice speaks, her words are never just personal. And in this case, they also revealed Justice Jackson's vision of what makes a more perfect union. If we're going to continue to move forward as a nation, we cannot allow concerns about discomfort to displace knowledge, truth, or history. We cannot forget because the uncomfortable lessons are often the ones that teach us the most about ourselves. Those words in Alabama conjured images of what's happening all around the country right now, especially in the neighboring state of Florida, where the movement to ban books and censor lessons about history is front and center. Justice Jackson today, in paying tribute to the four girls who were denied the chance to grow up, made a specific choice to be unvarnished in her criticism and deeply personal in her rhetoric. She asked questions of herself while pushing the country to do better. In a few weeks, Justice Jackson will take her seat on the bench as the Supreme Court begins a new term, and she will undoubtedly articulate her vision for the best version of America through the rule of law.